Hey boys and girls, Outdoors Jeff here again. Um, so I had a couple of people message me and said, hey, you know, uh, you're, we, lo we love your, your, your hot pepper project, we love what you're doing. Uh, can, you, can you demonstrate eating some of the peppers for us? <laughs> I said, all right, yeah, so, you know, maybe, you know, as, as, uh, as the project goes on, yeah, I can do that. And, um, and I said, sure, let, let, let's do that. Let's do that for people, you know, whatever, whatever keeps everybody happy. So, so the most, the most proficient ones as I've shown you in the last video were the black pearls. They've been doing phenomenal. Uh, excellent, excellent peppers. Uh, the, uh, really prolific plants uh, producing a lot of peppers in all conditions. By far doing the best of any plants. So I want to, I want to, uh, I'm going to do a taste review for one of those for you today. Uh, so here, we already cut it in half. Um, this, is, this is the black pearl here. Uh, whoops. It's a little pepper, about the size of a grape. Uh, we've cut that in half already. Strong, strong smell. I can already smell the heat. I don't know if you can see. Uh, a little tough to see with the white balance and all. Um, how many seeds are on here? Might be a little tough to tell. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There, there's at least 50 seeds on this plate. Now, now keep in mind, folks, when, when you buy these seeds, so when I bought them anyway, I paid about five, six dollars off, off of Amazon for 10 seeds. One pepper, I've already got five times those seeds back. So, they, and, they, and they should, they, they, you know, they, they're supposedly heirloom, so they, they should, re, you know, germinate those seeds again. We're saving those for sure. So, that initial investment is gone for me. You know, I, I've got, I probably got already a good 10 black pearls going. So, I mean, shoot that, you know, 10 times 50, you know, that, that's, that's an entire crop next year. You know what I mean? Out, out of one out of one investment so you, you you can't complain as far as that goes so these are little tiny peppers uh we got a nice like lime green color on the inside uh they were packed with seeds packed with seeds so what we're gonna do i got a little milk here on uh on standby <laughs> so i know these 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 are pretty hot these are a hot pepper but people want to see it you want to know how they taste you want to know how hot they are this is the only way to find out and i, I gotta be the uh the sacrificial lamb slash guinea pig for you folks so <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna try this out now all right um they are they from what i've read they're pretty hot they they got a, a significant heat level to them um i apologize for the back background noise first and foremost i, I got I got neighbors going nuts with chainsaws, weed whackers, and lawnmowers behind me over here, so. People don't like trees around here, I guess, apparently. Um, <clears throat> Alright, so here we go. Here's the first half. Let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Ooh. Man, <clears throat> mm. good taste, good taste. Initial, uh, the initial uh, taste was um, almost like a you know, typical bell pepper type taste. Very good. Little fragrancy, like a uh, little, little bit of a floral hint to it. Little floral background. Um, the heat, it's building. It's building. At, at first, it, it, it was not significant. Now, now, it, now it's building. Kind of reminds me of a of a super hot, like. Uh, you know, it's all taste at first, and then then the heat starts hitting you. <clears throat> yeah, 
It's got a bite. It's got a bite. Very good though. Good taste. Um, it, it, it's got a certain bell pepper flavor with that floral background to it. I, I would say, whew, man. I would say, uh, for sure, whoop, there goes all my seeds with the wind. <laughs> it's, uh, it would be good if you roasted that, roasted them on a grill or something like that, and then pureed it down in, in, into a, a sauce. Mmm. That'd be good. A little garlic, a little vinegar. <clears throat> That'd be a good sauce. But, uh, whew, yeah, that's hot. That's hot. Um, yeah, oh, wow. <clears throat> that's spicy. I gotta, I gotta round up all them seeds after. We got the other half right here. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Man, for a little pepper, that packs a punch. It sure does. Mmm. <clears throat> and, and you know, with, with, with any other pepper, too, um, it's hard to say, because <clears throat> you, got, you got to take an overall average off of... Uh, <clears throat> All the pepper is off of the, either the same plant or different plants because whew, you can take uh, oh, it's hot. <laughs> you can take a jalapeno off a, off of a plant and it tastes like a bell pepper, no heat to it whatsoever. And you can take another jalapeno off the same plant, and for some reason, all the capsaicin went to that pepper. And for those of you who don't know, the capsaicin is what creates the heat inside of a pepper. And sometimes it diverts to a particular pepper or, or just one half of a plant. And there's no rhyme or reason for it that I know of. I could be wrong. But uh, I'm sure there's a science behind it. I just don't know what that is. But um, sometimes <clears throat> that, that second pepper will scorch your mouth. And the other one... Again, it tasted like a bell pepper. You, you don't really know what, what to expect. So that that one was that, that had a good heat level to it. Uh, not not bad enough. I want to guzzle milk, but uh, it, it, it had a good heat level to it. Now another one off that plant could be milder. It could be hotter. I, I I don't know. Or that could be a general average. I, I really don't know. So whenever you're testing hot, the heat of peppers, <clears throat> don't don't judge it by one pepper. Try multiple peppers off the same plant, different plants, and get an average of, of, of what what they feel like, and uh, that that's gonna tell you, you know. Uh, whew. <clears throat> but that's good. That's good. Good taste. Good flavor. Um, like I said, it, it's got a prominent floral uh, floral flavor and uh, that bell pepper, that typical pepper flavor. So uh, we're gonna go from there, and uh, we'll see we'll see what the other ones bring. We'll try those out soon. But uh, that was my initial initial review of uh, the black pearl. Beautiful plant. They grow great in any conditions, any kind of soil any temps uh, very good plants so um, give them a try give them a try if you're a pepper lover I think you like those all right boys and girls talk to you soon